Hey everybody, it's Wutini from GayGamer.net, here with another one of my weekly video podcasts. And uh, this week I had a lot of fun. I had like a day of dance with my friend Kim. Uh, first we went to see Step Up Revolution, uh, which is hilariously awesome. Um, if you've seen any of the Step Up movies, you need to go see this one, uh, because it's just like the others, um, except the first one, which I have not seen. But two and three are hilariously awesome. Um, they just feature, like, the best dancing and the worst acting and story. It's basically, like, really, like, thin plot and bad acting that just, you just sit through until you get to the next awesome dance sequence. So it's sort of like porn, but with dancing instead of sex scenes. Um, but they're great movies if you like dancing. Um, and then after we saw it, we came back to my place and, uh, I showed her Dance Central because... Um, I've been trying to get her to come over and play Dance Central, but every time we try to make an, a, a date, it, like, fell through, and then Dance Central 2 came out, and then it kept falling through, and then finally Dance Central 3 is coming out in October, but she finally came over. And of course she loved it, because Dance Central is awesome. And I love showing Dance Central to people, because they just... they're just amazed. They're like, oh my god, that camera recognizes what you're doing, and wait, what? And I'm like, oh yeah, watch this. Um, and my favorite routine to show off with is um, Forget You, uh, because it has a lot of really showy moves and you spin around in the middle and it's a lot of fun. And like, she was just like, what is even happening right now? Um, and she was like trying to like look and learn the moves and I'm like, no, 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 we'll start you off with something way easier. Um, but she had a great time and uh, unfortunately, uh, they were given a PlayStation 3 as a wedding gift, because it also was a Blu-ray player, so her husband can play Call of Duty, and then they can watch Blu-rays. Um, so, I don't really think she's gonna run out and buy an Xbox 360 and a Kinect. Um, if they'd been given an Xbox, I'm sure she would go out and buy a Kinect and Dance Central, but, uh, the whole package, that might be a bit much just for one game. I don't recommend that people buy consoles for one game. Um, it's a waste of money even when the game is as cool as Dance Central. Um, the other big news this week, uh, the Nintendo World Store in New York City had a big launch event for Kingdom Hearts 3D Dream Drop Distance, which I'm sure if you play the game, well, I'd like to think if you play the game, you would learn what the hell that subtitle means, but um, maybe not. Um, but uh, they had a big event, and I was stunned. I got out of the I got out of the subway on the corner, and there was a line. And the line went around the corner. It went down the block and around the corner. And I was flabbergasted. And this is like an hour and a half after it went on sale. Um, I just don't. I was not expecting that. Like you expect that with like a Mario or a Zelda or a Pokemon. I mean, the Pokemon one went like all the way around the entire block. It was insane. Um, but like, Kingdom Hearts, I know it has its fans, I know it has a very devoted fan base, but I didn't think it was that big that they would all come out and, you know, line up around the block to get a copy of the game three days early. I was told that they, um, they sold out of the Mark of Mastery Collector's Edition, like, almost immediately. So I hope that all those people that are waiting in line for, like, an hour, when they get inside, you know, they're like, crap! I hope they told them that they sold out so that they could say, oh no, I'm going to come back in three days and buy the Mark of Mastery Edition here or somewhere else, um, instead of settling for the regular edition if they really had their heart set on the Collector's Edition. Um, and I know that at some point before, it was supposed to run from like 9 to 1, and I'm, I'm, I, I understand that at some point before 1 o'clock they ran out of games to sell. Um, I mean, that's that happened with Pokemon, too. There were people who waited in line, and they were like, nope, after a certain point in line, like, they just ran out of games, and they couldn't sell them anymore. Um, you gotta come back on Tuesday, or go somewhere else on Tuesday. Um, inside, they had, um, they had a really cool display case that featured, um, a whole bunch of, you know, various collectible Kingdom Hearts stuff, um, little statues and figurines and, and whatnot, um, in the various games. Um, not as much as in a Zelda or a Mario case, obviously, but, um, you know, the Kingdom Hearts stuff was a lot 
a lot of a lot of cool stuff there. And then they uh, they had that little tote bag that you see. That was the the uh, the free gift when you bought the game, and you got the little shopping bag with the Kingdom Hearts symbols on it and stuff. Um, and then after you bought the game there was uh, another line that you got in where you could enter to try to win a t-shirt that had the Kingdom Hearts symbols on it. Uh, you basically showed them your receipt, they stamped it, and then you turned a little wheel, and if a white one came, popped out, you did not get anything, and if a red one came out, you got a t-shirt. Of course, they ran out of t-shirts after a couple hours, too. They ran out of t-shirts while I was standing there watching them. Um, I think the guy you just saw win one uh, was like the next-to-last t-shirt that was given out. Um, and then next to that was a black box, uh, and there were little postcards, and you could write down on the postcard a little note to the development team, and then stick it in the box, and presumably they would then share that box full of notes with the Japanese development team, who hopefully could read them. Um, I hope everyone used their best handwriting, um, because... I'm sure that they had a lot of praise for the games and talking about how much they loved them, but knowing this crowd, I'm sure that there were also quite a bit of complaints, and why don't you use this character more, and what happened here, and I didn't like this part, and I wish you hadn't done this in that game, and blah de blah de blah Because that's what video game fans like to do, is complain. I mean, that's what I do, is complain. Um, oh, and of course there was the uh, ubiquitous photo op. Uh, this time it was a photo op in front of a lovely background. Uh, with a Keyblade replica. Uh, it was a very nice Keyblade replica. And, of course, I couldn't resist, and I had to get my own picture uh, holding the Keyblade, because, I mean, come on, why wouldn't you? It, the line was, like, five people long. It took no time at all. So I got my picture taken, and I have to say, uh, they're supposed to be up on Facebook and Flickr. I didn't actually see them on their Flickr page yet. I guess they didn't update that yet. But the uh, they might be updated by now. But, uh, they went right up on Facebook. And I was really, I was like, oh great, there it is. And I copied it over and, like, put it on my own page and made it my profile picture and everything, because it's fun. Um, but I realized that they posted all these people's pictures on Facebook, and people are commenting on them. Like, random people are commenting on Complete Strangers' pictures. So my picture, the first comment, which has about, like, 80 likes at, at the last time I checked it, uh, says, hey, Dad, put down the Keyblade, let the kids have a turn. You know, which, okay, admittedly, that's kind of funny. It's a little rude uh, and obnoxious, but uh, yeah, I am admittedly, like, twice the age of most of the people there, so whatever. Um, but some of the comments are horrible. They're calling out people's weight. They're calling out people's looks. And I just, I am aghast. And I just think it's a really sad statement on society today that this is what people are doing on Facebook, commenting these really horrible, rude comments on complete strangers, who are then going to go and get their picture on Facebook and see these comments about themselves. And that's just so hurtful. What is wrong with people? Ugh. I can't even. Um, anyway, uh, the thing is, is uh, I did not actually buy Kingdom Hearts while I was there. Um, I did enjoy Birth by Sleep, but, um, I was more in the mood for a traditional RPG, as you know, if you've been watching this podcast. Um, I've been, I've been looking for traditional, not like an action game like Kingdom Hearts is. Um, so I did eventually cave this weekend, and I did buy Tales of the Abyss. Um, and I mean, I'm only like an hour in, it's literally just started and set up. Um, but it's, it's fine. Like, I mean, it's exactly what I want. The nice traditional, let's walk around, explore, let's talk to people in the town and root through their stuff and take their gold and whatever. It's fun. Um, and I also love that the lead character, Luke, is a complete ass, because that's just how they always are. Um, but at least the game acknowledges that he's an ass, because he was brought up in, like, a castle, so he has no idea how society works and that you have to pay for things, and you have to be nice to people. And so they're, like, turning it into a joke. So it's actually kind of funny. So I appreciate that. I also appreciate that his costume has a little ab window, uh, which you would expect on a girl's costume to show a little extra skin. On, on him, you get the little six-pack. I mean, it's a 3DS, so the graphics, it's like a little shading. It's not, you know, really detailed, because it's a 3DS. But I appreciate that the guy's costume has an ab window, as opposed to the girl's. Um... 
But it's exactly what I was looking for, a nice traditional RPG. I'll play it on the train on my way to and from work, and we'll see how long it takes me to play through it. Or, if I get bored and disinterested with the story, or lack thereof. Um, but that's this week, and that was a big week, so I feel like I've gone on way too long enough, and I will sign off now and let you get back to your business. And I'll see you next week. Bye! Bye!